Authorities in New York City say three people were injured when a pipe bomb exploded at a busy bus terminal. The bomber is in custody and was also injured. NBC's Edward Lawrence has more. Hey! Chaos and confusion for the morning commute in New York City. Uh, Boom! Go down and over. Boom! And then I just ran upstairs. Security video shows a pipe bomb exploding inside the Port Authority bus terminal. It was a bomb, because I know I've seen movies and stuff, but this wasn't no movie. This is reality. People were scattering all over the place. Three people were injured, as well as the suspected bomber. This picture posted on Twitter shows the man who police say tried to blow himself up and injure others in a failed attempted suicide bombing. The device is based on a, a pipe bomb. It was uh, affixed to his person with a combination of uh, Velcro and zip ties. He had burns and wounds to his body. His name is Ikayed Ula, 27, in the United States for the past seven years, with roots back to Bangladesh. Investigators are now searching his home in Brooklyn, looking for answers. NBC News has learned Ula told investigators he planned the attack in the name of ISIS and was angry over Muslims being killed around the world. I'm scared. More than 230,000 people travel through the bus terminal each day. It's now become the latest crime scene for what the mayor calls an attempted terrorist attack in a city that has seen more than its fair share. Edward Lawrence, NBC News, New York City. NBC News has learned that the suspected bomber came into the country on a family visa and was a cab driver from 2012 to 2015.